evening ladies and gentlemen today i welcome you to campsite yadikha in jakhama nagaland and we'll give you a quick tour of this campsite so we start from the gate welcome now the first thing that you notice in the campsite when you come here is the uh, stunning paddy field which is right there and this camera is not be visible and right now it's harvesting time so it's a little golden but usually it's beautiful green and the locals love this place as well so if you like now look down you see people are uh, hanging out there you know they are here for some farm work fixing the canals etc but a lot of tourists from the local area also venture out to this campsite to hang out Now let's take you to the area where we have the bonfire and your evening gatherings are made really special here. If you look at this the way the place is laid out we've used a lot of traditional stones like sorry original stones where which has used as seats here and um depending on how much the how big the group is we've got one bonfire or two this one is actually extinguished or done from last night. Uh, under this area, we have a live band that usually plays. It's simple. There's nothing to um, um, unreal to show here. It's pretty simple to design, and we also have a table tennis board which we keep in this area. Now is a traditional hangami. Uh, structure which is used as a kitchen here has a look of a maroon and all of these <laughs> symbols here mean something and this is extremely old i cannot remember right now how old this is but this is very um old and in the next video we'll explain what this part means and what the significance is now we've got three levels in this campsite the first one is what we've crossed where we have the kitchen and the uh area where we have light music the second layer which is very similar to how the paddy fields the terrace farms of jakama are given the campsite has got three levels this is the second level where we have the bathrooms we we'll just start from there cuz that's essential and then we turn around you see how we have the tents laid out behind so now we put this area so that people coming out of the bathroom are not feeling uncomfortable once they step out we've got three uh setups here we've got one indian style toilet one western style toilet and one uh bathroom we also have now if you look back this is how the tents are laid out and all the tents have a very nice view of the paddy field the manager of the campsite who is afri does a really fantastic job of keeping the place uh pretty so if you notice these little flowers just planted here and there's some more here so when you come in because it's used as a stopover for people going to zuko valley for the treks they don't really get to uh, appreciate the beauty of the campsite much but if you look around if you stop and just look the camp has a lot to offer now we move down to the third level which is always something that's that's requested by campers because the tents that are placed there have a direct view of the terrace farm so let's take you down on the way we'll show you that we have two other indian toilets here which i'm going to shut now and uh here we are i was told to crack a joke in between but i cannot think of anything right now so we'll just keep it very simple it's rare that i can say things without joking about it so we'll uh let this remain like this today so Okay again I don't know how much the camera shows but it's stunning obviously your eyes can never see uh can never express but yeah just take a look Now behind that hill over there is where Zuko Valley is behind those two hills that's where Zuko Valley is the pristine and the the valley of flowers as we call it in northeast India for dustbins here the waste management is something we are still working on to make it better and we would love to see your contribution and if you can help us out with that that would be great this is an area where again nothing there's no fake thing here this is really handy for somebody to drive their clothes campers or uh, campers and this area was built for people staying in this area that just got come in this is a little um 
Yeah, so this is a space that we had put up for people to have a little uh, private group gathering if they didn't want to be in the common bonfire. So that facility also is available. Now I'll take you out to the corner where we have a nice little hat, straw hat, giant straw hat, which is again designed by Afre. And this is a little cute chilling area with beautiful, um, again, the planting, the gardening around the area is quite, I mean, I love it. Sorry. To post about the campsite that I am promoting. Here is where you sit and take a look outside while reading a book or while sipping a cup of coffee. That's the beauty of it. With this, we are almost at the end of uh, what, our, what the place looks like. And we'll just show you the insides of a tent. Uh, let's take this one. So we've got a tent which is uh, fresh and black from Decathlon. It ensures that your tent is warm during the, uh, cool during the day. So you can sleep in even after you have a long night at the bonfire. We've got a foam mat that we had used as a mattress. It's quite comfortable, uh, doesn't get cold either. We've got sleeping bags which are zero degree to zero to 10 degrees tolerant and we've got pillows and then we've got uh, the view so that's what you will uh, get to stay at <coughs> we have a fourth layer which i had missed out about to describe explain before this is the fourth layer which is not actually layer but it's a stairway made of recycled tires and it lets you exit into the paddy field so when you have the time then with lunch and food you take yourself out of this to this path and on your way to This view. And that's what our camp is called. Right now we are sitting in the kitchen of camp. Nidika and we'll try and show you what the place looks like and what it would feel to eat some of the meat that we have drying here, drying from the fire below. There's some meat which is about 15 years old I think. Now, not all of them but this, this piece here. So this kitchen in itself is like a, um, a treasure trove of Naga culture. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Give you some meat. So much meat. So much meat I give you. <laughs> 